Hello, all ye faithful. Welcome to the Air Buds Podcast. It's me, Jolly Old King Winchellist, and my loyal subjects. To my right, it's whom? <laughs> me? I, am I to your right? Yeah, you are. You are I'm standing like on my yeah, right, be... <laughs> as he always has been, my faithful steed. Here I am, steed boy. It's me, Peter. I'm Steedy. I'm back. Steedman. And on the left, it's me, Mike Benner. Hi, guys. Steedman. Left left hand, my left hand. Steedman Roberson. Hey. Steadman. What's Oprah's husband's name? It's Steadman, man. Steadman, Steadman Graham. Yeah, but Steedman, right? Can we go with yeah. Steedman? Well, that's what I was doing. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah, that was yeah, a plan. Yeah. That's it's the me, bit Steedman. that we worked out before we hit record. Yeah. <laughs> wrote it. We wrote it all down. Everybody <laughs> nailed the line. Right. Executed Every episode perfectly. of Airbuds is meticulously You know, written. we write this... Yes, that's right. <laughs> Even this, you know, we're so intricate with the crosstalk. We had to send it. I had to hand a draft in. Way too long. I had to hand a hand <laughs> a draft in on the, what day is it? On the 10th, man. Yeah. Yeah, and we write yeah. every and show three weeks ahead. Then Kevin Hart watched it with us. It just makes Kevin sense. Hart, executive producer of Airbuds, as we all know. Uh, guys, we got some great yeah, yeah, guests, but know. let's uh, get some business out of the way first. If you go to patreon.com slash airbudspod, you can support the Buds. $5 a month gets you access to the Discord, gets you bonus episodes, gets you bonus shows occasionally, and coming next month. it. I'm back on the Patreon, baby. Oh, you're paying? I'm back. You're paying the pat- for the Patreon again? Well, I've always paid for the Patreon, well, but... I let you yell at me about Josh Giddy on the last episode for <laughs> Peter, hours. famously Josh Giddy defender. Um, you can <laughs> you can find out my position by subscribing to the Patreon. Uh, then there, Ben are just gonna give it away. What are you talking about? <laughs> I've given it to one. I've given it away Nothing. to one person. Uh, <laughs> they know who they are. Spoiler alert: I am not pro yeah. Josh Giddy. All right, I'm gonna just get that out there yeah. right now. All and right. then uh, go to patreoncom slash to hear what Jordan the show. really thinks. Uh, if you can't do that, give us five stars on Apple and Spotify. <laughs> and here's another thing: five stars on Apple and Spotify. Apparently, that helps us out. Uh, and then that's business, guys. Today we have four very special guests, a group of returning champions. Please welcome Brasilia, Ash, and Alex, and Sierra of Flagrant Magazine. Bethany's not here. She's not here. Uh, the oh, entire she's staff. She's alive, by the way. You just tonight. Brazil. Brazil. Thanks for joining no, us. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> we just recently got banned from Twitter. Wait, for real? <laughs> no, but Timberwolves didn't Brazil. Timberwolves no, Brazil no, did? Yeah, yeah, I mean, they, they should have. Yeah. 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 Should have yeah. yeah. One of the wolf with the uh, assault Which rifle at the gas yeah. station? When they posted that <laughs> shit, I was like, get them up off here, man. <laughs> okay, here's what I don't... But how are some things like... Like, we had someone following us on Airbuds, which was just, like, the wildest... It was like a porn star. We have a couple porn stars to follow us. Like, how is that yeah. okay? Not okay, I, I mean, like, know. in the broader sense, but then Brazil, Timberwolves, and what they do. Like, how are like how do you distinct, differentiate the oh, two? Oh, You're right. Oh, Actually, Peter... rode a Jaguar. <laughs> I think it's I think it's the fact well no actually that should make it okay because if the wolf is doing sex work then it should be legal on X See, right? but, I think but what yeah. it wasn't clear it was that it was sex work it's NBA work and you it was can't just, do it sex was just, NBA work it was yeah, just sex yeah. play you can't get worked all... but you can do sex work <laughs> <laughs> hope that clears it up yeah, thank you Timberwolves of Brazil was doing sex yeah. hobbyism and that's why they got kicked off <laughs> yeah, had to go. yeah, you can't do that with is animals. Jazz, no, is Jazz Albania still up there? Uh, Jazz Albania, Jazz Albania. I don't we, even know. We launched Jazz Albania <laughs> in response We're to uh, Jazz Albania, <laughs> Timberwolves Brazil. Oh, and, uh, yeah. It got oh, some traction, and then I forgot it right. existed. I need to get back on Jazz Albania. <laughs> <laughs> Benner loves bits. Benner loves three Dude, day long right. bits. <laughs> that's that's, that's the perfect amount. Yeah, hours. that's the perfect. I amount. wish that's how long they lasted. All after of them, I spent but, like yeah. an hour. We're still talking about I spent an hour uh, <laughs> editing a video of. Um, I learned Albanian. Learning and then Albanian. I made a video <laughs> of a meteor hitting Earth, but it was a jazz logo, and then it 
wiped out the dinosaurs because it was the <laughs> Raptors were playing the Jazz. I was just like, is this been worth it? That was an hour out of my day. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Nah, see, <laughs> you, <laughs> just, you, worth you it, gotta worth just it. find Albania found footage. You gotta find like Albanian dash cams. <laughs> And just clip that up. Oh God! <laughs> yeah, have fun on what that does internet Albania website. Look like? Um, what are you what picturing? Is, like Google Earth. Actually, okay, it's kind of lit. Go on, paint it. Mm, okay. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah. Oh damn. Okay, just Google Albania. They have some sick <gasps> shit. Well, they definitely got a mob. Whoa, they wait. definitely got mafia. Well, that's cool too. Pretty every sick, every right? city needs that to that. keep it clean. You. Yo, oh yeah, okay. DJ Paul has definitely been to Albania. I can't speak for. The oh, it's in like a really Paul. nice area. It is really nice. My Uber driver in Ireland told me that he was um, Albanian. He said that I should definitely visit. Huh? Hmm. Whoa. Whatever yeah. that means. Seems pretty. I believe him. Yeah. I trust God, that guy with my life. I trust that. <laughs> I trust the Albanian. Hey, got you out of Ireland. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. An Albanian in my neighborhood gave me the worst haircut of my entire life. Oh, right before I went to a wedding a couple months ago. Oh no! Wow, you can never mm, trust an Albanian. Uh, oh, I wouldn't I trust him with my life. Said that <laughs> would not trust him with the my haircut fucking was so life. Bad. <laughs> I was like, listen, I'm going to a wedding. Um, I just needed to look like a the fresh haircut. He cut like he, the first thing he did was he trimmed underneath my mustache so much that it looked like I had a reverse John Water. <laughs> like he just trimmed all of the hair right above my lip. Where are the photos of I was this? Like, I was like, Wait, what did you do? Isn't that what John Waters' looks like though? No, it's what, like what do you John mean Waters reverse? is like a oh, tiny Oh, his is tentacle. lower. So it's like they Yeah, 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 yeah. Like the opposite. Like I had the rest <laughs> of John Waters' mustache. And then oh, also wow. like I looked down on like the line here like really deep. And then my hair just yeah. looked insane. And I don't have a lot of hair, and it's not very complicated. But I took <laughs> it to another barbershop in the neighborhood. And as soon as I walked in, all the barbers started laughing at me. Oh, God. <laughs> like, right, they're like, you're Albanian? Like and you're like, yeah, he got Honestly, me. That's actually what happened. They were like, well, did you go to the Albanian place? And I was like, yeah, I did. Like, oh, that's right. <laughs> Damn, they're like we're from East Damn. Albania. So we'll take care of it. We're West Albania. Anyone, if, if you want to hear more of Peter's thoughts on Albanians, go to patreoncom slash pod That's right, baby. Uh, guys, we're we're just past the halfway mark in the NBA season, and I was hoping um, everyone can kind of go around and just give their thoughts and feelings on their favorite team. I know there's a lot of us, so you know, just quick rapid fire. Mm. Oh, Sierra, why don't we start with you? I thought you were going to say we were at the halfway point of the podcast. I was like, damn, all right. Yeah, out, baby. <laughs> See you guys later, I guess. <laughs> I was Once those mid-roll ads hit, we're out. Fuck me, whatever. Get that money. Yeah. yeah. Once we cash those checks, we are done. Yeah. Um, me go first? That's so crazy. Um, <laughs> I'm a Warriors fan. That part. Things have been, I would say, not great. Are do they play tonight? Are we playing again? We've had to post two games think. because our one of our assistant oh, coaches suddenly yeah. died, which mm-hmm. is like mm-hmm. a real is, sad thing yeah. on top oh, of like an already bad that. season. Well, you yeah. know, if you were to watch Andrew Wiggins every night. <laughs> oh God. Oh, Peter. Um, <laughs> when do they play again? He doesn't even play every oh, night. The Warriors Sometimes the Hawks he, he gets rest Wednesday. days, Peter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He gets rested. I do like that Sierra's um, like, uh, first reaction was like, oh, God, are we playing another yeah. game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Draymond was supposed to come back. And so right. I'm like, Draymond's Is he not be back, back yet? So He's I'm back. Like, well, he was supposed to be back against the grizzlies and then that was the first game to be postponed oh, right. hmm. so draymond did it's he, the long con he did he play again i actually you know what he might have played a game I, already and i missed it i don't but wait did i see him? i thought he did i thought he played one i thought he did and he made a three he might have and i missed it because i have a um big blind spot in my brain right now well, that sounds. <laughs> I mean, you probably ideal. shouldn't be podcasting, you know, but it'd be like that. Th- thank you for toughing uh, it out. Yeah, whatever. Well, I mean, what else am I? Gonna no, do? I am also very into the wolves 
right now. God, are they going to choke this game? That's fucking crazy. They're down one to the Hornets with 12 seconds and left. And Carl Anthony um, Towns is currently so working on uh, that's how been many good. points? 60-something? He has 60, and 62. then the game fell apart I, as soon as he hit uh, 60. I saw some tweets that he wasn't in, and I was like, what? Dude, what? if we're doing this thing, <laughs> let's fucking do this thing. Let's, can we get it together, please? Yeah. yeah. So it's been really bad for the Warriors to be a Warriors fan. Um Because not only are they bad, but the vibes are bad. You know, if your team's like, like when the Warriors were really bad, but we had like Kelly Oubre, that was like, okay. Because it's like, yeah, we'll tune in. I'll watch Kelly Oubre. Um, But now they're bad and everybody hates each other. What if, what if a couple of guys got like um, hazel color contacts? Now we're talking. Would that, would that <laughs> turn things up? I could be back into that. They could get me back. Yeah. Just yeah. some, just try it, it out. It depends on who. But also, Jonathan Kaminga cut his hair and it doesn't look very good. Mm. So, oh my god! Mm. Don't even make yeah, me no. relive Real that Samson situation. So, yeah, that was dark. Yeah. It, yeah. Oh god. Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> so that's my speaking answer. of uh, speaking of that. tough, Alex. How do you feel about the Blazers right now? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, how how am I segue. supposed to fucking feel? Uh, uh, I mean. For a while there in the beginning of the season, it was fun even watching them lose because it looked like they were having a blast. And then something happened in the last month where they have not tried or cared or uh, shown any signs of life. Um, But then we beat the Nets. Did we sweep the Nets and sweep the Pacers? Mm -hmm. Um, What what can you tell us about uh, DeAndre Ayton's driveway? (laughs) Oh, oh my God! Well, I can tell you that for the love of God. I can tell you that the ice was no joke here, and I literally only yesterday was able to walk more than a block outside of my apartment because the ice was coating everything. I believe him. I, by the way, I feel like people giving him shit. I imagine it was oh impossible for him to to do, especially if he lives on the hill or something. He does like, live on a hill because they all, they're all they all rich and they live in the hills somewhere in some <laughs> country-ass huge sprawling estate. Yeah, I mean, and I'm in the city where they're plowing and I'm on flat ground and I still couldn't get anywhere. So it, it was t- totally legitimate. It's just um, it, I can understand how it's funny. But uh, it was legit. Do you think he real. tried sitting um, on his butt and just sliding down the hill to get to the arena? Or no? <laughs> People tried to go pick him up and he couldn't actually even get out of his house. And honestly, it would have been more embarrassing if he did try and injured himself trying to get to the game than just staying Mm -hmm. home and waiting it out. It's like, we're not, Mm -hmm. we're not like changing the the season. We're not changing lives. St. Rocket surgery. Right. (laughs) Yeah. It's like, if you're not going to try during the game anyways, why would you start? That's what I'm saying. You're not going to make a difference in this game or this season. So just stay the fuck home and let, these guys do what they can and what what do you know we won so didn't need his ass anyway <laughs> cut him <laughs> cut him cut him. the nba needs to adapt the work from home so, yeah. Blazers, uh, lifestyle you know. i think <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah ar vr situation uh, ashton do you have uh i was actually oh, yeah. curious about ashton wow. Yeah, I was going to say, because Ashton's always hated Anthony Simons, but now that Scoot, now that we drafted Scoot, who was supposed to be like the second coming of Damian Lillard and Scoot sucks and Ant's better now, I was kind of curious, like, hmm, Mm -hmm. what do you have to say about Ant? Ant's like 45. Scoot has plenty of time. (laughs) Ant is dead. He's long gone his prime. Goodbye to Ant. Scoot! Dude, yeah. he's in like his seventh year. It's enough. The guy's never going to be what you think he's going to be, folks. <laughs> he's going to be what he is, and that's fine, and that's great, and that's the eighth best player on a really good team. He's 24 years it old, is what averaging it is. 23 points and five assists. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> he's only averaging that because who else is on our that's team? Fair. Jeremy Grant's not even good anymore. What are you going to do? Mm-hmm. He's the only guy on the goddamn team. Mm. Um, so I will remain a hater until he really proves me otherwise. Do you think it was Paul Is Allen's he... dying wish that his wife never sell the team to Phil Knight? Like, do you think it was uh, like, in his will or something? No, I think his. Well, it's his sister. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're also but, married. Um, but, yeah. but they're married too. <laughs> Rich people. Are the uh, best. 
I think she just is like trying to squeeze every dime out of the situation because she like maybe something with the estate like she didn't get enough or something. I have no idea. But she was like made up this lie like it takes 20 years usually to do this. And right. everyone's like, no, it fucking doesn't. It's, like, what didn't Paul Allen have a about? yacht that had a submarine in it? Is that true? That I'm sounds pretty sure. plausible. It sounds real. Wow. Maybe DeAndre could take it to practice. <laughs> 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 you still have to dock <laughs> and walk. Mm, so Ashton, you're not thinking about the docking. Walk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're not thinking about the dock and walk, Ashton. And it's been a while yeah. since you've been in Westland. But... If you're gonna dock, you gotta walk. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You gotta walk the dock. I, honestly, yeah. to dock. I have walk. been you gotta... paying attention <laughs> for the past yeah. six you can't minutes. Just dock the dock. <laughs> and I just came back <laughs> to dock and walk. Y'all doing parking rides? Is that like the parking ride? If you're going to dock the walk, you better walk the dock, baby. Mm-hmm. That's what I always say. <laughs> Brasilia, do you have any thoughts? I'm sure she's got a shitload of thoughts. Why don't you share some of them? Okay. All right. Um, yeah. Like on the NBA. The docks, right? Wait, yeah. Before you go, I just want to say Paul Allen's yacht, the, yacht, the octopus, um, holds a yellow submarine named Pago, which can embark 10 people up to an eight hour long underwater adventure. Okay. I have a really good idea. Let's we go in a submarine. Them down. Send them down to the bottom. Send them down wow. to the bottom. Just to explore. No one's ever done that before. No one's ever done it before. It would be fun. And I think, yeah, exactly. They should all signs point yeah. to safety. It's been a big year for rich people in submarines. You said yeah. a submarine so was sorry, named Prego? You know, I just wanted it. Oh, no, no, you're fine. You you're said fine. it was named Prego? Pago. Man. Pago? Like the sauce? Uh, yeah, what's that? Pa- Pag- Pagoo. Oh, Pagoo. P A G O O. Pagoo. But the biggest yacht in the world's name was Octopus, which is kind of hilarious. Wow. <laughs> it's the biggest oh. yacht in the world. It's bigger than like um, a lot of vessels in the American. Uh, Navy. That is so gross. I want to shoot shoot it Whoa. down and make it sink. Uh, Three hundred and twenty million was the listing price. I think a decade ago. It doesn't sound like a lot. Yeah. How much money? It's on sale. Is it three hundred and twenty million? That, looks a little that sounds Googling. like a fuck ton to me. Yeah, that's yeah. that sounds. Yeah, like but for the you the guys are over here paying thirty dollars for your podcast software. <laughs> We're editing. I think between raw, both of our patrons, you don't have that kind of premiere. <laughs> Dude, it'd be so yeah, funny if like a baseball it. player who like are notoriously overpaid spent all of their money on one glorious yacht and they just lived in squalor, but they had one yacht. Mm-hmm. Shohei could do it, right? <laughs> just Shohei parked in Long Island. Like, Shohei could do it in yeah, 27 only making two million a year. Exactly. I don't know. He seems like he's in a rough spot. Beach. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Poor guy. Oh he might have a boat in Long Island too. Who knows? That's true. <laughs> a dinghy. That is a fact. Brasilia, what do you what do you what do you have to add to uh, it's docked right now? The it's midpoint docked. of the NBA season. It's docked. Um, I, I mean, yep. Sierra said it best about the Warriors. They've just been mad disappointing. Um, I used to be Draymond's number one defender, wow. and like, goddamn, he's rough just... here. And he used to and be you, number one. And then you watched him uh, beat the shit out of a defender, anymore. and you're like, I can't be in this position. <laughs> yeah. Now he's the number I one offender. No. The chokehold oh. had me. I was like, this is mm. bars right now. <laughs> he used to be our number one defender. Now he's the number one offender. Blah, blah, blah. You guys bars, are bars. Dock the choking walk. out a defender. <laughs> yeah, dock the walk. Don't dock the walk if you can't walk the dock. <laughs> Bitch. Mm. Brazilians is back on. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> I've been. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. I mean, but yeah, so that's that with the Warriors. Um, I've been watching the Nets a lot more this season. Um, Dogs. And they've been disappointed. How is the Spencer (laughs) Dignity experience for you? How have you been enjoying the Bitcoin bonanza that is Spencer Dinwiddie? (laughs) Spencer Dinwiddie, I've been enjoying him. He has a good game. He's actually like one of the better ones, honestly. He's just been doing better. But. Huh? Wow, that, I hate that guy's guts. <laughs> it's only because I hate he... this guy's guts. It's got nothing to do with his actual play. Oh. I just, uh, I wish him nothing but like. Did Ill I will. see something that he like <laughs> quiet quit or there, something, there or he was like, I'm done or something? Had, what was that? 
Then he's he's had a bad stretch playing. lately. So, and there was like an anonymous source was like, he's on strike right now because he hates being on the Nets. And uh, and then Lexi, Lexi Brand, oh, Brown. Wow. Yeah. Lex- I saw that. Yeah, she said something Before like, uh, yeah. playing so poorly that people think you're on strike oh. is insane. <laughs> And I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Bro, I said the same oh shit when he was on the Wizards. He clearly was like, he thought he was Norma Ray out there, man. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, yeah. That's so That's good. So uh, well, guys, maybe we can uh, uh, look a little into the future and have some optimism. WNBA free agency technically started yesterday. As of this recording, although teams can't sign anybody till the first, let's go. Uh, has there been any talk or potential moves? Oh, yeah. that's why shit's not popping off. No, they want to like, start the rumor is, mill. You know, where's the stuff? Anything. Oh, I'm sorry, Mike. I don't get to talk People about my team. Let's talk about our favorite teams. Whoa, <laughs> who's your team? Oh. The Cleveland, the Cleveland Cavaliers, who've won eight in a row. Yeah, oh, that's what? kind of exciting. Good on them. What the hell? Yeah, the I don't even believe it. Man. They didn't. <laughs> the Cavs have won eight in a row. Oh, oh wow. wow! How many times I saw was it? Recently, the, the Magic were in like second place, and I was like, "What the <laughs> fuck is going on, dude?" That's wild. The NBA is so weird this year. It Anyone is. else? I, I... It's so annoying because we said that last year, but we really mean it this year. Yeah, this you know? year we're serious. This year we're not fucking around. <laughs> we're walking the dock this year. It's we're weird as hell out here. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I interrupted someone. So it's okay. The Cavs won eight in a row. The they won them with. Darius Garland and Evan Mobley both being out. And, um, yeah, Dean Wade and Sam. Mer- they Honestly, the Cavs are so white right now. It's oh, What about, uh, I mean, uh, no, they're not. They have uh, Donovan Mitchell, Jared Allen. Mm. True, true. Um, someone Levert. else is going to come to me any second. There you go. Uh, it's. Can, let me just tell you. Let me tell you about the rest of their rotation. Max Drews, <laughs> Dean Wade, mm. uh, Nyang, mm. Sam Merrill, this little five foot nine. Oh, Sam Merrill, and Yang are on threes. the same team now. Hmm. That's so cute. Super Sam Merrill. Sam Merrill. Um, no. Who the fuck is Sam Merrill? He's this little prep school kid. Whoa! Who just bombs three pointers. Isn't there a comic named Sam Merrill too? Oh, oh, Utah he's State. Got, he's got the haircut. He He's looks like dude. Yeah. No one has that haircut yeah. anymore. That's crazy. Um, He's got the. He bro. has the Christoph Porzingis. I think he was like seven for nine from three point range tonight in Orlando. What the fuck? Um, yeah, it's wild. Wow. Just want to give the Cavs oh, a shout out. You guys have Damian Jones. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't look. Him. Tristan is our backup Which is crazy center. Crazy in the year twenty twenty four. Huh. Yeah. He's good. It's wild. He's. That's... I don't think I knew he was still in the NBA. <laughs> I did not know. Not that. Not only is he not. <laughs> In, he's playing for the Cavs again. He is legit giving them a good 15 minutes of backup center every Peter, year. Peter, can I ask oh, you a question? Okay. What yeah, was the deal with weird. Tristan course, Thompson yelling at that like ball boy or the mop boy like two weeks ago? Oh, there was a clip that went oh, viral. I have no idea. Yeah, oh, the I kid was trying to like mop that. the lane during like a free throw, and like uh, Tristan Thompson like grabbed the mop and yelled at him. <laughs> Good for him, you know. I don't want people That's in my personal space either. So. Oh my god. Oh, we're Tristan defender. We're Tristan Thompson defenders. Wow. Now. Listen, anything on the and court. And Josh Giddy defenders. That's. Crazy. And anything on the court, Tristan can't <laughs> can't be wrong. Ooh. Off the court, you know. Uh, my wife said to me recently, "It's so funny that we both watch a lot of Tristan Thompson, <laughs> wildly different settings." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Is he well, on the show? The the. Kardashian show? Uh, yeah, every time I looked up, I was like, oh, there's Tristan having a really tense <laughs> conversation with uh... Chloe. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, or Chris or whoever. Yeah, or, or all of them because they're all someone. always fighting with each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're fucking one of them. You're fucking I do want to um, apologize uh, to Jamel for reach. his team. I did send him a an insensitive Instagram <laughs> post the other day. Uh, and immediately thought better of it and apologized, <laughs> but I want to say it publicly. I sent Jamel a a Instagram post that was like a gra- like a ESPN style graphic that was like Wizards clinch, uh, like sub fifty win season for thirty years in a row. <laughs> oh my, oh my god. god! My problem isn't Holy you. Uh, the problem isn't the post. The problem is you laughing <laughs> when you tell motherfuckers what you did. 
That's the yeah, problem yeah. that I have. <laughs> Apologize for laughing in my up. face after the fact. <laughs> <laughs> Almost nullifies the apology. Yeah, a hundred percent nullifies yeah, that girl. apology. Mm-hmm. Got lost in that fool's mustache. Say sorry again. I apologize. <laughs> Thank you, no Benner. Laughing this time. As far, <laughs> as far as the Wizards are concerned, He's not the GM of your cares, team. It's man. not his fault. The Wizards got the new GM got handed a, a loose pile of ass, just a BBL that fell on the ground, <laughs> and he's trying to make it look like a fine ass right now. And that's going to take some time. Yeah. We have every second round that. pick for the next four years. <laughs> the Wizards have 26 yeah. second round picks between now and 2028. So Is that true? Almost. 2027 is a year we have five second round picks. Every other year we have what? at least two. That's the whole round. Yeah, I don't understand what That's it's crazy. Yeah, we have a whole WNBA draft worth of second round picks. Yeah. You know who was a second round pick? Nikola That's Jokic. That's crazy. You got if one of these huh. tools so works. So or cheesy beef Frito. You've got like twenty five chances <laughs> in the next five years to get Nikola Jokic. It is. It's like when you go yeah. to Taco Bell you and you go inside of Taco Bell. You don't go through the drive-thru. And you 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 have a mm. bunch of nickels, right? And then you go to that little the little plastic thing <laughs> and you try to win the free Senate oh. twist. Because it's when actually you put the nickel in and it goes around. The weight what? of the nickel. I don't have that at my yeah. neighborhood Taco oh, Bell. We had those when I was a kid. They don't have them anymore. This is back in the day. Shit. You never had those? Yeah. Nickels? It, nickels, bro. You could like it was like a little twisty thing with like different platforms, yeah. and you could drop something in, and if you landed it on a platform, you got like a free taco or something. What? what? I did not ever do that. This is. Did it work? Did you guys so ever win? It's free easy food? to I think win I with a the taco nickel. Once when I was a kid, it's easy to win with the nickel because it's like oh. the weight of it. It lands where you want it to. Mm. Yeah. The rest of them are okay. a little harder. Hmm. Oh, was it like a little like gun thing that you like? It like flips. Well, no, no. It was okay. just like a little. It looked like it was like a fish a tank, but there would not be. I'll try to find water. It. You in can them. find guns, and, and they'd have like little bells, like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like the claw machine. There's tacos. Point there's drop. guns. No, the guns taped in the bathroom. The gun is taped inside one of the toilet tanks, and it's like oh, a community yeah. gun that everybody uses That's and right. puts back. Yeah. Mark There's also Michael holes in the stalls, out. so you can look at what other people are eating, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, they brought it back. Because you might want to eat what they're eating. I'll have what uh, they're having, hey, chef. Hey, put that burrito through the hole. Let's share it. Let's do this Lady in the Tramp style. <laughs> oh, my Jesus God. Right. Uh, so WNBA uh, free agency, guys. <laughs> Lady in the Tramp had Hell glory yeah. holes? <laughs> Wait a minute. They did not have glory holes. <laughs> okay, no, I see. Cause Shout out to Little Oregon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get it. I got it now. Uh, we were just talking about the WNBA, WNBA free agency on uh, this other podcast that we do. Um, oh, is Natasha it Cloud leaving or what? Is Natasha Cloud leaving the Mystic? No. Oh, Please say God. no. Only Wait, she what? comes to the sky. I so just. I don't really know where she would go. Look, I'm just, uh, right. One of the other contenders, it's like, what? They, the Liberty would take her. I don't think the Aces sky. would. She should come to the sky. sky. So I could Ooh. watch her play. I it, guess the Liberty would take her, but it, I, I, the WNBA is so strange because it's, it's, yeah, you're just like padding rosters. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Now, which is fine, but like, do you, you have to make the decision, like, do I actually want to play or do I want to be like, play second fiddle to Sabrina? Tara like, fell Sierra. down the Sierra. stairs. Sierra, Sierra are you okay? <laughs> Something bad just happened this year. Oh my god! <laughs> and yeah, she didn't say anything. Just that I got up to let my cat in, and then I stepped on my charging cord. And uh, no, is your computer okay? Computer over. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it didn't fall very much. Nice. So, oh, yeah. uh, a survey of, uh, so anyways, of WNBA writers said it's like split even uh, between uh, the Mercury and the Mystics. Her signing. Mm. Whoa. Okay. Interesting. I guess, yeah, the Mercury. Tarasi's still there? Yeah. Jeez, yeah. Yeah, yeah but like, win. what the hell does that mean? Like, come I mean, on. Like, guess, Taking up a roster like spot? Nasty. Yeah, she's still there. Yeah. Tarasi, do you want Tarasi off the bench? Tarasi, 10 minutes a game? 
Tops. I mean, I wouldn't mind having her on my team. Like, I don't think she needs to be, like, kicked out of the league yet. But, like, in the coming drafts, probably. It's just, like, she doesn't really hit shots. That's kind of the problem. Yeah, yeah she's yeah. not what uh, she once yeah. was. So if if she's in for 10 minutes and she shoots four times and she doesn't make any of them, it's like, okay, mm -hmm. well. That was a waste I'm just that. imagining you guys I don't know. coaching the Mercury. <laughs> <laughs> you guys all have clipboards. You're like, oh man. Hey, Let Diana. us coach Diana. Girl. <laughs> Let us Long coach the Blazers short. one game. Let's just see. Yeah. Let's just see if it's worth oh. Chauncey. Wait, they should do that with a That's team a for idea. a year. For you a guys whole are year. pitching the yeah. Whoopi Goldberg oh, yes. movie Eddie right now. A year, <laughs> not each of yeah, us. Yeah, the Eddie clause. You're talking about the Eddie clause. Wait, I don't know. I don't think I know this movie. It's a movie Eddie. from the '90s called Eddie. Okay. Whoopi Goldberg yeah. is a Knicks fan who wins the contest to coach the Knicks for a game, and then they actually win, and then they make her the head coach. Bro, this is my fucking is it on dream. Streaming? Let's find it's out. It's gotta be on Tubi. It's I'm gotta be on Tubi. It's on Tubi tomorrow. if it's on anything. Not yeah. fucking Tubi. Oh. I love it. I watch this movie once a year. What the? Oh. Not That's enough people it. are talking about it. It's on Prime. <laughs> Shorty, oh, I think it's on Prime Shorty video. from uh, it's Better discounted Elementary on Prime. Is the, uh, best friend. Who's the um the uh the Which older one? the 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 the, the, no, the oh, oh. teacher? No, the oh the Ralph. the the uh, God, what is her name? No, yeah, her yeah. Dennis yeah. Rodman is in it. You got to be kidding me. Who? It's Sarah Lee Ralph's friend. Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman in this oh. shit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They sure. must have cameos. <coughs> John Sally. We should watch this on like... uh, playback. We oh wait, really this should. is not. Lisa this is a different Eddie. Wait, there's another thing called Eddie that's also a basketball. Oh, it's a documentary about Eddie Sutton. That's the one on Prime oh, Video. Oh, that's so. very oh. different in terms oh. of. Uh, just Why are they both <laughs> called Eddie? That's fucked up. Wait, this one's also, it looks like, on Amazon. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Uh, but maybe yeah, not. Go give your money to Amazon. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Oh, yeah. It's... Oh, so you anyway, can buy just let us coach. On the, it's on YouTube. Yeah, the, the general Facts. point. The whole movie is on YouTube. It's all I was trying. The whole movie's on YouTube. Yeah. So, hey, We're good. Here, people. wait. Let us coach. Only get in the chat. Here it Thanks. is on YouTube. All right, everybody wait while we all watch Eddie on YouTube for the next 90 minutes. <laughs> we'll be back yeah. in yeah. an hour we'll and 38 minutes. If you, we'll sing, if you start Eddie views. on YouTube now, the rest of the episode <laughs> syncs up with us not saying a word. All right, Peter, now oh recite God. Eddie from memory <laughs> in its entirety. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Jamel, <laughs> well, it definitely starts with <laughs> Coolio. So bad. It starts with Coolio. Let's get, begin with that. If the the movie begins with Coolio singing, uh, 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 fantastic As did voice. Most <laughs> films from the 1990s. Oh yeah. wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they yeah. all started with Coolio. Wow, this entire podcast should turn into you guys narrating. <laughs> the movie yeah, yeah. it has History we've Science. done it twice Theater. already we did it and then got we should do a joint playback yeah you guys like, do playback we've done right? it a we few played, times yeah. do you ever we do played playback back. we played back we should do a joint playback watch party eddie yeah style. Let's we should it. watch eddie together hey sounds popcorn, like popcorn pajamas uh, for WNBA preseason let's pop one eddie <laughs> oh. uh jamel Hell what's yeah. gonna happen with the elena oh deladon i'm actually excited well, she's going to play for the Mystics this year, I think. I guess. Really? Does she have to build her back brace out of wood? Yeah. I mean, that's why they started the company, I think. And I think the <laughs> wine company got started because it's not going great. <laughs> what about her? Else to numb the pain? Yeah, yeah. Shotgun we need a little more juice. God, we got to get really one of those. really do. Have you guys seen her her the we product actually... that she made that is a literal gun that you load a can of beer into and you can shoot it into somebody's mouth? It's like a super soaker. No, I thought you were making a, a it's always sunny. Oh, sunny thing? No, it's like a super soaker type thing where you load a gun into it. You load a beer and then you cock it and then you empty it into your head. You have to she put it yes. in your mouth. It's like her company. Yeah. What? Elena Deladon? Elena Deladon, who also makes like adaptive shoes for people with disabilities, yep. made beer gun. 
Yeah. You got it. Shot fun. Shot fun. People contain multitudes. Yeah. The shot fun. Shot fun. Oh, my God. Good for her. Oh, my God. Yeah, I see. She's a jock. I'm looking at this video of her. She's in a polo shirt and, like, slacks on a golf course shotgunning a beer. That's a jock. Well, my favorite thing about the WNBA is that she is a jock. But then also for Halloween, she'll just be, like, dressed as Elsa. So you get a little bit of both <laughs> lanes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. I did see Disney on ice this weekend. Hey. Oh, yeah. Well, how was really? How, how was yep. it? At the Barclays Center. Uh, well, uh, my youngest watched the whole thing until she um, just zonked out because she was so overstimulated. She slept through the second half. I love that. And then my son ran through the Barclay Center for the entire thing until we got to Frozen and Encanto. <laughs> and then he sat silently and watched all of those. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's pretty good. That rocks. Awesome. Disney on ice. I don't really understand the premise, but I... I... Um, I'll, well, the premise is you have to take care of your children, and it's the weekend, and you don't have help. So you'll pay anything to go do something to just alleviate... The, uh, the the mm-hmm. the pain is that the right and, word? Oh and, no, sorry. The and love. And then from there, mm-hmm. love, love. Michael Eisner I... whisks you and your family away into a ice cream <laughs> yeah wonderland. That's and it's amazing. Like, all of a sudden, I spent two hundred and fifty dollars to go to Barclays from eleven to twelve forty-five in the middle of the day. I just oh, appreciate thanks. that you didn't call it babysitting your own kids. That's uh, what yeah. I keep hearing men say, and I just appreciate when my <laughs> bitch wife, <laughs> bitch wife leaves my friends, fucking kids I with babysit me. my kids. No, I like my kids. Oh my God. No, they probably had the best time. I've been to Disney. I went to Disney on Ice when I was really, really young too, and I loved it. Huh. Oh, I bet they were fucking. Do they lit. just? Are they? Is it like they're just like a like song? They're dancing for a song. They kind of like they do like a spark notes of yeah. each say each story with like three songs and oh, then it's all these skaters who like do some nice ska- skating i guess so it's sure. like ballet it's like a ballet mixed with a play on ice because it's mostly yeah. dancing but then they have like the rock from moana or like like they kind of like change Wait, some of like the, the verbiage <laughs> well no the, but just like his voice is like oh. kind of setting the story up in a way where he's like i'm Maui the rock. and here <laughs> I'm Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> I'm the Rock. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Can you smell the ice? <laughs> yeah, I'm cooking, baby. Um, yeah, it was worth. Uh, do they do other Disney? I'm not sure of how much unfun my son, my son had. I'll, I'll, hold on, I'll go get it. Is there like a smart guy on ice? Because that's a Disney property. <laughs> we were just talking about smart guys. We were just talking about oh, smart guys. On a podcast. Yeah, I, was like, I love smart. I love dude. Smart guys. That's it crazy. I love they deserve guys. another season. Were you on our podcast? Uh, yes. I was hanging out. They were mad the at me. They were <laughs> mad at me for not knowing it, and it aired between my ages of zero and two, and they're like, I can't believe <laughs> well, like, oh, like, you Oh, wait. What, Sierra? You didn't know that? Smart guy rules. Yeah, She's that's too young. See? And you should watch it. Yeah, but you watched no. it later on anyways. It was like yeah. on still. It was know? definitely on still. I was. It yeah. got ran in reruns I guess it's years later when it came out. The older yeah. sister of it all. They put it on the Disney Channel like three years after it got canceled. That's I can confirm I my son it. had this much fun. Oh, oh my god! Yeah. Cute. Oh. He dressed as Buzz Lightyear. Like you just farted on your Hell chest. Yeah, he is. Dude, kids who are into Buzz Lightyear is like that's my favorite kind of kid. He... Did you say uh, they didn't do Toy Story? Did you say there's they no freaking pilot in here? Oh, they did. Oh, they, did they did multiple. Story. No, they did. Well, no, they right. they did Toy Story three and four. Every time he wakes, every time he wakes up in the morning, <laughs> the first thing my son says to us is, "Buzz." Oh, that's just buzz general fly. general statement. It's because buzz it's fly. because Peter's holding a buzz ball when he wakes like, yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> daddy, daddy, fly, buzz. Buzzfly? <laughs> it's because he saw your haircut from the Albanian bar. And yeah, he was like, oh, yeah. you no, must be know. high to get buzzed like that. Uh, gang, flagrant issue six pre-orders are open right now. As we speak, as we record this, go get go to flagrantmag.com and Literally order it. But I want to know, can we get a little sneak preview of what readers can expect from the latest issue? Anything? A little sneaky preview. A little preview. sneaky preview? Do you wanna do you wanna see it? Yeah. 
Yeah. Whoa. Do you want to feel I've it? never even seen it. Ooh. I've never even seen it. Oink if you want some slop. Oink, oink. <laughs> <laughs> No, Ew, Benner, it. no, no Benner, no, oink, no, come on, Benner, uh, nasty Benner ass. Oink. Benner's been waiting. Benner, for you that nasty for bitch, years. oinking <laughs> on our own show. <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, it's so cute. Oh. You can take a screenshot of whatever you see. I completely missed it. Wow, and what a read it was, you know. <laughs> oh, that's so good. There's good shit in it. There's um, Ooh, Katie Heindel yeah, wrote in it. Work. Do you yeah. know anything else? Basketball feelings is uh, really good. Yeah. It's one of my favorites. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It's one she's, of the all-time she's greats. Freaking great. She's Got some good great. profiles yeah. on some folks that uh, are very fun and good people. Good people mm-hmm. to read about. Good people to know. Um, yeah. Some artists that we've known for a long time, and then some other, a little fun little story someone wrote. A little bit Whoa. of fiction for you. Wow. Yeah, we got Go a little on. short story mm-hmm. from so Isle McElroy, who wrote uh, People Collide and um, Atmosphere. <laughs> no, that's wrong. But um, it's, sure. a, yeah, a little sci fi. Um, God, what's her first book called? Their first book called, excuse me. Um, oh, yeah. Atmos- the Bible? I had it right. Oh. I was right. Atmosphere. Everybody's fucking relaxed. <laughs> Atmospherians. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's a sci-fi story about if aliens invented oh. basketball. Mm. Uh, I wish. <laughs> it's honestly so good. It's I so love, fun. I love it. Yeah, it's yeah. so fun. Our first you guys are going like straight New Yorker now. Yeah. Yeah. Aliens so. invented mm-hmm. basketball. There'd be no mm-hmm. fucked up referees. Because they'd be aliens. They wouldn't have like Imagine sports game. Did you read the story? Oh, just kidding. Damn, it's like you know it by heart. Yeah, what the fuck? Um, that's true, though. I guess we didn't mention, I don't think it mentions referees, so we're gonna oh, gotta throw out all the magazines. I'm gonna do it and and edit it again and add the referee bit in. Yeah, fuck. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put them all in the landfill. (laughs) Just take Paul Paul (laughs) Allen's submarine and (laughs) the one ocean. Oh my god! Mm-hmm. It would sink it if we put all of the magazines that we have. I can't believe you all mm-hmm. scoffed at three hundred and twenty million. That I'm just saying, like world's everyone largest was like, it was the largest sub in the world. Years ago. <laughs> I don't have any sort of real concept of what that Dude, amount like, of money is. What's the most expensive house? Like a hundred million? Yeah. Uh, you like, know what my concept no. was? I. More. Probably. More. I don't know. Ever heard of the Vatican? I know. I know <laughs> that like a naval battleship cost taxpayers like eight billion dollars, and Peter said it was bigger than a battleship. So true. I thought three hundred twenty million was like not. That's true. Big okay. Yeah, yeah, but they just—that's that's kind true. of a money laundering yeah. situation. Unfortunately, yeah. Mm. yeah, it's not a real dollar. Also, there's no like weaponry probably on the yacht. I would hope. Um, I, I and probably the cost of the naval yacht. I didn't read the whole article, so we don't know. Okay. okay. Yeah. Guarantee there might be. Sure. Yeah. How do you keep the peasants away? You know? Yeah, they hunt people. Yeah. So for sport. <laughs> they stay strapped. The yacht stays strapped. Yeah. In the toilet, there's a gun. When you dock, <laughs> yep. you grab the Glock before wow. you walk. Wow. Oh. I think we should just end the show now. It's the yeah. Glock and walk. Then you walk with, then you I, walk with your Glock. I, Benner, I would not have a problem with that. The clock. The clock around the clock. <laughs> that sounds like a. Uh, it sounds like clock a clock around the clock. The clock and walk. Clock around the clock. The clock, clock and walk. Clock, clock if you walk. I'm yeah, raising clock, money for the clock, clock, clock and walk. Till, Get it? What time is it? It's fucking like blasting <laughs> time. <laughs> 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 like I don't really know how I read time, but I'm pretty sure it's blasting time. <laughs> this is crazy, Alex. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm pro gun now. I think that's how that works. If Elena Deladon is pro gun, I'm fucking pro gun. <laughs> yeah, so guns true. and cigarettes. They're making a comeback. Oh my god, <laughs> Alex! Don't let the woke mind <laughs> virus. Have I ever talked the about cool. the the girl I was smoking weed with who said she wanted to buy a pink gun? Have I mentioned this uh-uh. to you guys? Well, this I mean, is just a, this is just a story that's replayed in my head. This was this girl <laughs> on the cheerleading squad at my high school. She's like throwing a party at her house. It's like four of us smoking a blunt in the car and nobody talked for like a while. And then she looked up and she was like, I think I want to buy a gun. But like a pink one. 
Mm-hmm. And everybody was like, because yeah, this was like 2004. You know what I'm saying? It was like mm-hmm. the sickest thing we had ever heard. And uh, Yeah, that's yeah. kind of a cool idea. Too. Yeah, and yeah. Four, I was like, oh, yeah. yo. She was ahead of her time. Jennifer, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get that. I'm smelling. Yeah, I'm picking up on a little bit of pick me. <laughs> and it, it, it takes one yeah. and no one. But, yeah. you know, it's still kind of cool. Yeah. Did she Dude. ever get it? I got to check on that. I'm not sure. Oh, I got to <laughs> yeah. find out. It's her Facebook profile picture. If she does, yeah, it's definitely <laughs> right. her, like, that- yeah. <laughs> her headshot for her real like, estate business. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's it, yeah. Graduation picture. She went away for yeah. armed robbery. In no, 05. you know what's crazy? And she was high. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She was high, so she was really thinking about it before. Yeah, she that's it. true. Yeah. That's a crazy thing. Like, she she really like, wanted to think. <laughs> premeditated Should as fuck. Should I say this? Should I say this? <laughs> right. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna this. say. Yeah. It. Like, do I really want a pink gun? I really want a pink gun. Really <laughs> They're pink gonna gun. love this. I want a pink gun. <laughs> <laughs> it was almost like you was there. You was you. Did you see this? Were you in the trunk <laughs> of this vehicle? You were on our podcast, and Brasilia was in the car with you what? in high school. Damn, in high the, school. The Back to the Future element. You already know. 2004, baby. Are crazy. <laughs> yeah, we need to do Physical a reverse. Strings. Reverse, yeah, reverse. Buds on flagrant. We're oh yeah, around. yeah. Um, mm-hmm. guys, before we wrap it up, a few weeks ago, yeah. I sent in a Love listener it. question to your guys' uh, excellent podcast, the Help Side Pod, uh, and I asked you to assign uh, an iconic cartoon baby to each of the starting five of the show. And <laughs> listening back, it can. It, it instilled what I can only call like a mild level of panic among you guys trying to figure out <laughs> who was what baby. Dude, that was so funny. No, because not only did you ask us, you said there is a right answer. Wow. Yeah, that's Banner. what threw like, us. We're letting someone right. down. I did that on purpose because I wanted you guys to feel the pressure. <laughs> but I thought it only fair before I wrap it up if you guys wanted you to tell us what well. babies we were. I oh, have a take about a particular Disney movie. I was thinking that maybe you guys sort of embodied the ch- the kittens and aristocrats. Wow. Um, <laughs> Go on. Ooh. Yeah, I was thinking. Meow. <laughs> I was thinking that Peter's has sort of a Marie vibe. Benner has sort of a Berlioz vibe, and Jamel has sort of a Toulouse vibe. So do with that what you will. <laughs> uh, go back and watch Aristocrats, and they're they're babies in a way. In, in that sense. all mm-hmm. animals mm-hmm. are babies. Okay. Yeah. 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 Right. Right. Yeah. I would have went right. with American baby. Tale or like Five Will Goes West for sure. Same diff. Mm. Mm. I don't remember. There aren't babies the in there. Characters except for Five. Isn't there There's a, babies? Is Five Will There's like a really no Five Will's. Fievel's a, a kid. Fievel's a little mouse, and then he's got like a fat homie, right? And then oh, the f- yeah, I love that the friend. Fat so homie. Funny. I like the sequel, The Rescuers Down Under. I oh not shit, they took him that. to Australia. Yeah, and it's so the good. Rescuers. Okay, it's actually not maybe not not a sequel, but it's like in the same vein or something. I forget. But I think it's called American something something. Which Rescue also a lot of people don't realize. Isn't, it the, isn't that the Great Mouse Detective sequel? I don't know. What in the hell are you guys? What talking? are we talking? It about? is the Mouse, mouse Detective because it, it takes place anything. in the Law and Order universe, right? It's the same. <laughs> right, five less, five less for you. Oh my god, yeah. SVU. It's SVU. Five less for you. The first week I moved to Crown Heights. There was a rat that was dead on my sidewalk that could only be described as like an opening crime scene for SVU. Damn. Oh my God. I mean, this rat had Damn. been. That's ran through. Oh. Was it ran through? Was it scabbed? Damn, was so it tiny SVU. Through, it Outside. was like hitting the part. <laughs> yes. And there was a little mouse sized yeah. pocket watch left behind, too. Oh yeah, was... Left behind? Didn't even get robbed. Yeah. That was a crime of passion. Yeah, yeah. That's they great. That is that's the rat. real SVU yeah. chief right there. Leaving the yeah. leaving the goods behind. Well, it was left behind. Oh my god. <laughs> Your signature move, right? Damn. Classic. They're always after me, Lucky Charms. Yeah, that was an awesome powers reference. And you'd do well to watch that movie again. Is it does it's been it twenty somewhere? fucking years? It's streaming is that everywhere you asked in my that question, head. by the way. Does it stream somewhere? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Wait, does. was it on this? Was it on the flagrant pod that we were talking about 
the baby from Ice Age? Yes, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. this. That was, oh. <laughs> that was what's that's what fucking started it. And then you fuckers. <laughs> Someone hated that fucking baby. Dude, Sierra, I, was, Sierra I couldn't hated. believe how I couldn't believe how much of a hater but she was then, to a fucking cartoon if you baby. Google Ice Age baby hate, it comes up with multiple articles about how much the internet hates the Ice Age baby. Dude, what is I think it's a perfectly regular baby. I'm pretty sure when we yeah, called Benner too. though. I don't know if this is what you said, Benner, but I'm pretty sure you said I'm the dinosaur from, I'm the baby from dinosaurs. Yeah. It kind of is. That's the best one to be. <laughs> Are you be serious? Who was I again? It's the most famous, I would say. Yeah. Right? I don't, Brasilia, we were trying to decide uh, for you. We which were trying one? to decide between, um, oh my God, what? Maggie. The Simpson little dog. Oh, baby? yeah, Maggie. Maggie, Maggie and someone else. Maggie and the Moanas, no, maybe? And baby, maybe? Or no, there was Moana, no Moana baby. baby. <laughs> oh no, and the um, Stewie the Griffin. Moana, Moana is from Monster 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 Stewie Monster Griffin Monster from Family Monster Guy, Monster Boss Monster Baby from Boss Baby, <laughs> Maggie Simpson from The Simpsons, and Ice Age. Oh, baby. Yeah. From Ice Age. Yeah, there's a YouTube video. There's a YouTube video entitled "Why I Hate Ice Age Baby." <laughs> dot dot. That's so meme weird. review. That's so crazy. Meme review number That's seventy-five. Wild. How many views do you think this video has? Twenty-five million. Everybody, take a guess. Five fifteen thousand. Twenty-five mil. It was my guess. Uh, winner four. Winner four. Winner five. Winner four. Winner four. Winner five. Winner four, winner five. <laughs> it's eleven. Eleven wow. mils. Wow, that's yeah. crazy. Eleven million. million? Yeah. Damn. For hating the ice baby. 11 million people care about the ice age baby. Damn. I think Jamel is baby Herman from Roger Rabbit. That baby that <gasps> smokes a cigar. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. Oh my God. That baby is so. Okay. So I was going to say, Peter, this is. I'm going to throw you a little bit. Yeah. I was going to say maybe you're the baby from Baby's Day Out, which isn't a cartoon baby at all. It's a human baby. But in the spirit mm. of you venturing out into the world i feel like i wanted to assign you a human baby That's i will good. say every time i talk to peter it sounds like some baby's day out shit happened to him i won't hear from <laughs> peter won't hear from peter for like two weeks and it'll be like yeah i was walking on a uh on a construction site but uh i was balancing on a two by four and then the two by four hit another nigga in the head he, he'll say the n-word Damn. yeah to me <laughs> Yeah. Which they do in Baby's Day Out. Yeah, for yeah, sure. yeah, of course. Well, because Christy Alley's in it. That's why. Yeah, Christy Alley and the baby are for sure thinking <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. It might not be in the dialogue. No, the movie famously ends with the baby saying his first it's word. Implied. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. And just like that baby, anytime I see any woman out, I just look <laughs> at her chest and go, lunch. <laughs> 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 the baby makes it across the BQE. <laughs> the baby makes it across the BQE and then yells the N word at the end. <laughs> All right, I think I think it's oh time to wrap God. this up, guys. Oh Is there anything anything you guys want to plug uh, other than Flagrant Issue Six on presale now? FlagrantMag.com. Oh, Our yeah, planner, buy the fucking planner, bitches. Buy the fucking planner. <laughs> it's too late. Get your shit together. <laughs> buy the fucking planner. It's still January. Y'all got time. Hey. Mm -hmm. Listen, yeah, buy the planner. Pod. Order issue six. We still got some merch. Ben or no one assigned you a baby, so I'm going to go ahead and say you're Chucky from Rugrats. Yep, um, I'll take it. <laughs> follow <laughs> us on social media. Um, sign up for our Patreon. We got a lit Discord with a bunch of people who became actual friends um i am on that discord and it yeah. is a Come genuinely newsletter, lovely you know. time newsletter. There. everyone is so nice and funny oh yay mm. a real testimonial Aww. we didn't even pay him for it dude can you believe it organic uh, marketing. peter and jamel wow. anything you want to plug it's organic. it does exist <laughs> uh apologies to carl anthony towns they robbed you tonight they robbed you tonight sir y'all was probably still gonna lose somehow Damn. but he should have got them two free throws. Damn. I want to shout Damn. out Dean Wade. Hasn't played well for two years, and now he looks good. So <laughs> he looks he looks good enough where my brother texted me unironically, should Evan Mobley come off the bench when he gets healthy? Jesus oh, Christ, wow. man. Yo. Whoa. Like, uh, I'll just Stop. shout out Joel Embiid. Congrats on uh, scoring 70 racist. tonight in a win. 
against Victor. It was against the Spurs. Big time. Playing against the Spurs, really, that those numbers are inflated. That's a markup on the market. That's a that was actually a sixty point Ooh. game. I'm sorry. I, you gotta adjust what? on a curve. If you play the Spurs, Ooh. it's on a curve. Nope, yeah, not all. listening. Music's going. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for listening. We love you. Bye. <laughs>